Hello, 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 Africa! Hello, fellow teachers, how are you? Today I came up with another episode, and that is about how we can provide clear, simple classroom instruction. So, until the end of my lesson, stay tuned, let's continue! Hello fellow teachers, how are you? Uh, today we are going to talk about how you can give simple classroom instructions to your students using an English. So we're going to talk about how you can master the art of uh, making or producing clear instruction. Now in this lesson we are going to talk about what a classroom instruction means. <coughs> Sorry, why classroom instruction is so important, uh, the forms of classroom instructions and the types. There are two types of classroom instruction that we are going to see, but for today we are going to stick to one that is simple instruction that is to be covered on next week. And then we are going to talk about features of classroom instructions and finally we are going to see some of the expressions and the phrases that you can use when you want to provide or produce uh, simple instructions. So let's get started. We start with uh, classroom instruction. What the hell it is this term means? So when you say classroom instruction, it means what we teachers use in the classroom to get things done. So they are expressions, different kinds of phrases that we use to do things done in our classrooms. It might be different kinds of activities are there in our classroom. So when you want to achieve those activities, we use these expressions. We, we call them classroom instructions. Having this in mind, let's talk about why do teachers give classroom instruction? What will happen if you don't? So, let's answer this question. Control. Power is nothing with, without control. There is one advertisement that is, says power is nothing without control. I love that term. So, um, this is the situation. If you want to control the activities in your own lessons throughout your classroom time, you need to use classroom instruction. This is too much important for you as a professional. So that's why we use. Just simply, we use classroom instruction to control activities, classroom activities. We use them in such kind. Um, the next question. What are the, the common forms of giving instructions in a classroom? What kind of forms can we use? There are three forms. Let's see them one by one. Firstly, we use commanders. Uh, commanders are mostly <coughs> used sorry again, uh, by teachers when they want to emphasize their own position of authority in the classroom. So these are some of the examples that you can use. Be quiet, please. Pay attention. Or please, pay attention. So when you provide instruction, you have to be some kind of polite. So after you say please, then finally you have to say thank you to show your uh, pupils that you are polite and become a good example to them. And then we can use also requests. <clears throat> this also implies the notion of equality and the friendliness with your students. So this can be a good example. Can you please the blackboard for me, please? After the student finishes, you have to say always, don't forget, you have to always, always have to say, thank you, please. Because your student is, you are a model for your student, is, don't forget. Uh, the third um, form is suggestion this can be also used to provide instruction so it's, it's kind of advice that can give your students uh, some kind of freedom of choice so this can be done in this way for instance now you have five minutes to do this exercise you can work individually or in pairs here you give them the choice so these three of them are uh, forms of instruction that we can use in our classroom. Uh, we're going to see them with expression later. Just I provide you here some examples. Uh, what are the common types of classroom instructions? Uh, let's see them. Of course, we have two types of classroom instructions. And these are 
simple instructions what we are going to see today and uh, multi-stage instructions multi-stage instructions are a little bit more uh, elaborated next uh, on next lesson so let's stick to simple instructions uh, what are the features of cl clear classroom instructions in both simple instruction and the multi-stage instruction you need to integrate the verbal and non-verbal language that you use so this will help you to achieve uh, clarity among your students when you say verbal try to use specific language simpler language and try to be even more expressive in your wording is uh, when you talk about nonverbal language, you have to assist what you say with gestures. The gestures will assist, interact, or integrate with what you are talking verbally. As we, as we always say, don't forget, 93% of communication happens through body language or nonverbally. Only 7% accounts for verbal language or message. If you come to the classroom and talk for 40 minutes, your students get 93% of your message from your body language, your nonverbal language. It's not from your verbal language. Your verbal language accounts only 7%. This is immense. So that's why we need to integrate both of them so that you can achieve uh, clarity in your instructions. So, for instance, let's have an example. When you provide uh, simple instruction in your classroom, for instance, your students are disturbing in the classroom, so uh, you can say, be quiet, please be quiet. When you do that, try to assist what you have said with uh, such kind of gestures, as you can see in the example. Uh, you can say, be quiet, as you have said like this, or please be quiet so you put your uh, fingers four fingers over your lips or you can put your two hands over your ears please be quiet please 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 be quiet so this will assist your verbal language and again when you demonstrate uh, another instructions maybe uh, activities classroom activities uh, it's better if you use uh, such kind of gestures in your classroom as well as uh, humor. So let's go to the expression the phrase that we can use in our classroom for providing uh, classroom simple classroom instructions. So we start with common instructions. So the common instructions that we are go I'm going to show you here are just they are selected for uh, your students or you can use them for your for your students because they are easy to be understood. So Come in when a student is late and they want to come into your class. You say, come in. If um, some student disturbs in the class, you want to take a measure, punish him, or if you want to do some, something, you say, go out. Um, some kind of exercise or stand up, sit down. You can use two terms. Come to the front of the class. This can be also used when you want to give the chance to your student to do an activity or whatever it is. Stand by your desk, put your hands up. So when all the students talk at the same time to answer your question, maybe without the, what you have asked, uh, you can say this one. Put up your hands, put your hands up, please. Or you can say, put your hands down after an instruction, another instruction. Hold your books, hold your pens up, show me your pencil. So these are the easiest expressions that you can use in your classroom. But we can even divide this simple instruction in this way. Firstly, let's talk about beginning instructions, and then uh, we are going to talk about the ending instructions. So a number of instructions can be used at the beginning of our lesson or session, and this can be pay attention. Everybody, when you want to grab the attention of your students before you start your lesson, you can use such kind of expression. Pay attention, everybody. You need pencil, you need rulers. Today, we learn how to provide, I mean, yeah, you can say whatever. You put your objectives there, your lesson objectives. 
then when you want to start are you ready so put your gestures up are you ready let's start so you can see uh, in this way to uh, uh, grab their attention then it follows open your books at page blah 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 turn to page blah 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 look at activity five so these are when you are in the middle um uh, listen to this step repeat after me again please everybody this is what we do again you can do it in this fashion you have five minutes to do this who's next like this not like that when you want to demonstrate some kind of concept you use this uh, expression uh, who's next can be used uh, when one student answers for instance when you try to remind your students about the lesson that they have learned uh, uh, the, the week before this week and then uh, you can ask these questions and then one student answers the rest is then um, shush up and uh, you say who's next bending instructions a number of instructions can be used here again at the end of our classroom uh, they are ending expressions or phrases it's time to finish have you finished the right tone must be used here stop now let's check answers it's not let us check let's check the answers let's check the answers so the right intonation uh, give the right meaning that's why I want to uh, emphasize here so any questions you can say here too if you want to just uh, finalize your lesson and uh, give the chance to your students to uh, ask you a question collect your workplace uh, pack up your books are your desk steady here this expression is very important when you do your use this expression you are giving responsibility to your students uh, so they understand that always when they leave the classroom they have to clean their around the area so this this is too much important as to me so you can use it uh, don't forget to bring your handout tomorrow your pen tomorrow blah 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 you can say like that uh, so what we can summarize from here what we can summarize from here is the art of producing a clear simple instruction is very significant because it helps you to achieve classroom management effectively when you want to have effective classroom management it starts with mastering this skill that is clearly providing classroom instruction to your students once you have done that preparation is a key try to incorporate this some of these uh, instructions in your lesson plan so that you can use them daily in your classroom uh, you need to practice again so that you can use simple language and a specific instruction to your students and uh, my final advice before you do anything when you provide an instruction try to get everybody's attention first that is the most important thing here because unless you get all your students attention it's going to be difficult for you to get to be understood by your students and don't forget watch out for your tone in the body language your tone not mu must be aggressive don't make it aggressive be humorous even your body language matters don't point out you do this you do that you are uh, no 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 this is aggressive body language your students do not want to this they are there to learn from you so why do you frighten them why you become aggressive of course we are humans you can make mistakes our students can make mistakes but you have to be better than them so watch out your tone as well as your body language this will take us to the end uh, so next lesson please get in touch uh, we are going to talk about producing multi-stage instructions and uh, concept checking strategies in english we are going to talk about this one 
this one is a little bit uh, more uh, interactive i mean uh, funny and it will be interactive for you i hope uh finally we're going to go and talk about comprehension language expression so well after your concept checking strategy so this will take us to the end for today uh fellow teachers until i meet you next time i'm going to stop here but don't forget as usual uh to keep in touch for the next lesson and uh, thank you for watching i'll see you, i'll be seeing you next time so see ya